this is Vinay Mathur from VM Graphic Solutions and in this video I'll be showing you how to use IK chains to rig a human leg. In this I'll be using bones tool and uh, IK chain solvers in 3ds max. So let's start 3ds max till the time out uh, 3ds max loads. I'd like to bring your attention to my YouTube channel that is youtube.com slash c slash mathur and over here you'll get a lot of tutorials videos and lots of cool stuff so I do recommend to subscribe to my channel and you'll get all the videos directly into your mailbox or subscriptions list without you manually searching for them so coming back to Autodesk 3ds Max So this is the screen which you'll get in Autodesk 3ds Max 2014 when you start. I'll close this for now and come on to the front viewport by pressing Alt plus W or Option on Mac. And I'll create first a bone structure. And for creating a bone structure, I'll come to the Create tab. And on the last, I'll select Systems and click on Bones. I'll now create the leg structure. So I'll start from here. Thigh bone. Your foot. And your toe. And now you right click and end. If you do not right click, this will create a continuous structure. And after you're done, by your bones press W and go to the move tool now select the first bone you created go to animation IK solvers HI solver and this brings in a dotted line which you will now have to connect to the foot bone and now if you see if I just move this I can control the leg movement from thigh to the foot pressing ctrl z to coming back to the rest position now you have got one controller if you see this blue plus sign now let's create the same chain till the toe so click animation again ik solvers sorry for select the foot go to animation ik solvers hi solver you get, again get this dot and go and click on the toe now you get one plus sign on the toe as well. Now connect the toe to the end point. First click on the toe. Make sure you're clicking on the toe and not on the plus sign. Go to animation, IK solvers, HI solver. You again get this dotted lines and click on the end bone. And you're all done for your rigging a leg. Press G to remove all the extra stuff which you might got irritated with till now. Press W for move tool. And now you see I can move my toe with this plus sign. I can move this joint with my plus sign. This plus sign rather. I can move the whole, sorry. I can move the whole leg with this. Also, if I click on the above uh, on the thigh bone and suppose this is a leg of a character and I make him sit or couch you can see the thigh and the knee move correspondingly while the foot remains stable and this is because we created a chain which comes directly from thigh to the foot we didn't click on this bone right here and that is why this creates a triangle and the only thing which controls the movement between these two is this chain. So other than these two, everything will be connected to each other. So what I'll have connected is the thigh bone over here connected to the foot, then the foot connected to the toe and the toe connected to the end point. 
so there are three controllers which I have to control my whole leg movement you can use this IK solvers which is also known as inverse kinematic solver and rig a whole human character uh, say the movement of a crane multiple things so that's it for this tutorial I hope you liked it and this was helpful for you if you like this video click the like button if you disliked it hit the dislike button and do subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and till then bye bye